Nothing but the truth Tuesday on the Michael Bathing Show. I'm still waiting on calls of people who are willing to admit that the person they were dealing with was honest with them, but they were too doggone hard-headed to accept it. Nothing but the truth Tuesday on the Michael Bazin Show. You know, as we get closer to 2013, Donna, I-, I want people to practice being honest. And I said this earlier, maybe people are being honest and other people are just not listening. W- what do you say? I believe everything that you're saying. And I think, and I, and I love my sisters, but we need to stop accepting all these little tales these men are telling us. And, no, and look at, but Donna, we're talking about the, the truth. truth. Well, when they tell the truth, and that's, you, you should take that and, and, and rap, love it. Put your arms around it. <laughs> Wait, wait, Donna, Donna, you can't, you can't call in and change the topic because I got a question for you. Do you have yes. girlfriends? Have you or someone you know been told by a guy, "I'm seeing other women. I don't want to be married. I don't want to have kids." Whatever his truth is, the woman tells you, "Hey, he was honest with me," and you're like, "Well, cool. At least the guy's honest." Mm-hmm. And then you see her tripping later, and you're like, "He told you the truth." No, I haven't. Wow. Because because I don't have any female friends who have had that interaction with a man that has been that honest. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. I mean, what can I say to that? I mean, if you if you say that, that in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm shouting out to the ZAK family, <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, I got to put Cleveland on blast. <laughs> Donna is telling me from Cleveland, neither her or any of her girlfriends have ed- ever met a man in Cleveland, Ohio, who's ever been honest about this situation. They're all liars. Have to be, because women are accepting them the way they are. <laughs> oh, could you hold on a second? Yeah. George, go ahead and talk to Cleveland. Yeah, One Cleveland, second. I just left there. I had no idea that there was nothing but lying ass men in <laughs> Cleveland. I didn't know. <laughs> that, that's not you saying it, though, George. No, no, according to these women. That's Donna saying that. Donna? Yes. Are you co-signed on that? There's not a single honest man in Cleveland. My son. Oh. <laughs> how old is he? Wait a minute. How old is your son? That's, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How old is he? My son is 34. My grandson is five. Okay. Wow. <laughs> she, she, you know, two men in Cleveland. Wow. Hey, Cleveland, that's not us. That's the research department. Blow, <laughs> Cleveland blowing us up right now. I can just hear it. Give us a call at one 877 1-877-622-3269. 1-877-622-3269. How many people are willing to admit, to be honest and say, the person was honest with me, I just was too hard-headed or too caught up to listen?